October. <laughs> this is so trippy. Like, don't stare into the no. The snow. I'm can't. watching the line from the road. Good morning. Good afternoon. We are back. It's my turn. Yeah, we're here. Pub Glen, 7 a.m. A little late, you know, and then we ended up getting here super early. It was like snowing really hard, so we were like, all right, you know what, we're just gonna chill in the truck and wait till it stops, and then go come in and set up. And then we all fell asleep. So arms up to bat, we're on the same piece of public that we came to last week, and I miss my dough. And then if you guys go back to the video, or show you guys right here, if you slow down the video enough, you'll see that the tree moves before the deer does, so I hit the tree, so. That's the reason why I miss. Or we're just gonna say that. I'm, I'm a tree slayer. And then we're here with Austin. Deer Slayer 2.0 over there. Yes, sir. We got a deer before us. We're gonna go in there, Shot set up some stands, and hopefully kill something. Or yeah, see something. I didn't even bring my. Alright y'all, it is October 19th, yeah today we're in a ground blind so the spot that we were hunting has no good trees to hunt it but there's a lot of deer sign here and there's a lot of buck sign. And we've been hunting with the north wind but yesterday we were hunting when Marvin was out we only saw one doe. There was a, we found a trail that was behind us where they crossed the river so our wind's been blowing that way the entire time so we're leaking the bucks across over there to the north, or no, to the south, and the, and there's bedding over here across the river, and we think they cross and come over here and hit these scrapes and stuff, so. By the way, this is the biggest freaking ground blind I've ever hunted in, and this is my first time ever hunting in a ground blind for a whitetail, so. This is, is really comfy. And then we got Austin across the way over there, and then this is his ground blind, and we're thinking, with the wind blowing to our back, towards where we've been seeing deer come out, well, the scent will just sit inside here because there's no wind in here right now and like there's no just nothing going so we're thinking that's gonna save us from the deer coming out from over here so we're gonna sit here be quiet and uh hopefully we see something not two because Austin also saw his buck tag and a doe tag so we just gotta kill one
觉得。Yeah, so basically what happened was it's it was 350 and then Austin saw those does coming from our left. So the font, I kind of rushed it on so I should wait for the big the mom to come out. But the yearling came out like 20 yards in front of us, but I shot below her somehow. And then uh, that mom stayed back a little bit and she had us pinned. She was at 30 yards for me. I ranged her. And then I guess I shot over her. The air was completely clean again. They ran off blue or whatever. I don't know why I can't connect this year. I just, I don't know. I just need to stop freaking shooting in general. And maybe we'll get some more deer on the ground and camera. All right, y'all. Follow our doors. Welcome back. Uh, we had some camera issues. Batteries were dying. Two batteries were dead right here. GoPro died. And so I had my brother, Marlon. Uh, my brother Marlon record. All right, like I was saying, uh, Marlon was recording on his phone, and a six-point buck came, and I don't know what happened. He got spooked and he ran off. And that was like what 8:30, and after about an hour, we were just sitting, chilling. Three doves came, two small ones, and I waited for the big one. The big one looked like he wasn't kind of come in, but I shot her, and I left the arrow over there. I looked at the arrow. Air looks like good blood. We'll get the camera out there. But we're gonna wait a little bit and catch y'all over there. All right, rolling the GoPro. We're gonna go into the woods and hopefully drag it out. This is our setup right here. Fuck it, a winter setup, but we'll make it work. And it's time to go track the deer now. I already told you guys this, but we got a decent amount of walk, so. Let's see how this boy is gonna handle it. But it's this decent amount of walking. Probably like thing we measured a mile. And maybe not a mile yet. But hope the audio quality is good on here. Because it's pretty windy out. And these branches are way too loud. Good blood. One, two, five, good blood. Good up. Good. Yeah, she broke that branch. She's leaking pretty good. She did it there. Good Very, very bright. See how bright it is? Look right here. Yeah. Did she go down here? Yes, she did. Yeah, come down. Over here. Let's go. She did not go far. She did not go far. first deer in a while about maybe three years I know I'm kind of slacking but and I got it real early so we're in this creek right here that we scouted with a lot of dough and well I tagged her up as y'all seen and 
It really, really still like skinny. Doesn't have a fat on it yet, so she's not that heavy. But I'ma put her on the sled and we'll just drag her back. Try it. Try it.